I was actually an atheist from my teenage years. Uh, I concluded that the idea of an all-loving, all-powerful, all-knowing God of the universe, creator of all, was just absurd and not worth my time to check out. And so I lived that way as an atheist for much of my life, um, really as a hedonist, um, pursuing pleasure, because I concluded that that was the most logical way to live life if God did not exist. And um, got married, my wife was agnostic, and one day she met a woman in our condominium building who was a Christian who talked about Jesus to her. My wife was interested. She'd never been told this stuff before. So she asked questions and, and went to church with her and then came up to me many months later and said, Lee, I made a big decision. I've become a Christian. I don't oh, know. This is the last thing I need. I mean, I, as an atheist, this is not what I signed up for. And I actually was going to leave and just walk out. Uh, but I stuck around and, and I saw positive changes in her character and values and the way she related to me and the children. It was winsome and attractive. And so one day she uh, was getting ready to go to church and I was sleeping off a hangover and she said, hey, why don't you come to church with me today? And I thought, you know what, I'm going to go and get around this cult that she's involved in, you know. So she takes me to a church and the pastor gets up and really did a talk called Basic Christianity that knocked down a lot of my misconceptions about the Christian faith. And I walked out that day saying, you know what, I'm still an atheist. He didn't convince me that God exists. But number two, I realized if this stuff is true, this has huge implications for my life. So I decided to take my legal training and my journalism training and investigate if there was any credibility to Christianity. And a lot of that focused on the resurrection. Uh, did Jesus claim to be the Son of God? And then did he back up that claim by returning from the dead? So I spent a lot of my effort in that area, but I also looked at scientific evidence. How do we know that a creator um, exists and is responsible for the universe as we know it? And looking at cosmology and physics and biochemistry and genetics and human consciousness, those are all areas that to me pointed powerfully and persuasively toward a creator who looks amazingly like the God of the Bible. So finally, after amassing all of this a data, the evidence for a creator and for Jesus having risen from the dead. Uh, on November the 8th of 1981, I sort of sat down with a yellow legal pad and kind of summarized the evidence and realized that in light of the avalanche of evidence that points so powerfully toward the truth of Christianity, it would have taken more faith to maintain my atheism than to become a Christian. And that's when I realized that it was true that Jesus is who he claimed to be. And I read John 1:12 that says, but as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, even to those who believe in his name. So I realized that just believing this wasn't enough. I had to receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I had to receive this free gift of forgiveness and eternal life. And when I would do that, then I would become a child of God. And so I prayed and repented of my sin, confessed it, and uh, turned from that, received this free gift of forgiveness, and um, became a child of God And my, my life was transformed over time. Uh, God changed my values, my character, my desires, my, um, my relationships, my marriage, my parenting. I mean, all these things over time were changed for the good. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. The purpose of this whole channel is to equip believers for this challenging cultural moment so that we can reflect a more authentic, more in-depth, more winsome, portrait of who God is and what Christianity actually teaches. So if that's the kind of thing that you're into, then follow along.